Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I want to talk about five things that you can say when someone discloses a mental illness or five things to say, because sometimes people say some very inconsiderate and some very wrong things. But I also realize that sometimes they say this because they don't know what else to say. So that's why today we're talking about five things that you can say instead. But before I get into that, I want to take a quick moment and say, if you are subscribed, thank you so very much for being a part of our world of awesomeness. And if you're not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button below so that you can join this awesomeness. And remember to tick the bell so that you are notified when I post new videos so you don't miss anything. And of course, if you'd like to purchase one or three of my books, there's also a link below that will take you to a site that shows you all your different options of places where you can get one or three of my books. Okay, let's get back to it. First, sorry you're experiencing this. It's an easy, simple thing to say. It tells the person that, you know what, you heard them and that you acknowledge that they're going through this difficult moment. It's um, just saying that lets that person know that you're not dismissing what they just said. You're not dismissing what they are experiencing, that you're acknowledging that you, they are going through something that could be difficult. It doesn't take much. Just those simple words could go a long way. A second thing that you can say is, how can I help? Just making the offer is a lot. Just making the offer tells that person that you care. Just taking the time to make that offer tells that person, you know what? This is someone I can count on. This is someone who's on my side. This is someone who got me. So. Take the time and say something as simple as, how can I help? But of course, if you're going to say that, please make sure that you're prepared and willing to help when they tell you, hey, I need someone to talk to. That, you know, don't agree to do anything that, you do, that you're not going to do. But if they do ask, if they tell you, hey, this, you could help me with this, let them know, yes, I can and I am willing. Or no, this doesn't work for me. I can't do that one. But don't go um, giving them a whole list of, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. this. Because it might not be what they need. So make sure that you give them the opportunity to tell you what they want or what they need from you. And sometimes it may very well be nothing. Three, I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. A lot of times people are, especially when people find out that someone they know is in therapy, that someone they know is taking medication for something, we start acting weird. We start being different. Instead of doing that, praise the person for taking care of themselves. Praise the person for having the courage to get help. Because a lot of people, because of the stigma in our society, and because people do and say the wrong things, a lot of people suffer in silence and they don't get the help. So yes, encourage, praise, let them know you know what? It's great you're taking care of yourself. I'm glad to hear that. And again, yes. How can I help? That always goes a long way. Four, how are you coping? Because you know they're going through a difficult moment. You know it's a difficult experience. Asking them how they are. Most people are so busy trying to tell other people how to live their lives, they never take the time to ask, hey, how are you? How are you doing? How are you handling this, situ this um, experience, this moment in life, this long-term issue that you're going to be facing? How are you coping? That says, I heard you. I know it's hard. I'm here. I'm, it, it helps. It goes a really, really long way to just ask the person because most, most of the time, no one is asking. Everyone is too busy telling them, hey, you should do this instead. You should do that. You know, when I was sad, no, just how are you doing? Asking that. Finally, I'm here for you. It's that simple. A lot of times people feel like when they're going through these situations that they're alone, that they have to shoulder it alone, that no one is there to help, that they have to keep this a secret, that there's not a person that they can reach out to. So those simple words, I'm here for you, go a very long way. Let the person know that if they need you, you'll be there. That if they need you, they can reach out to you. That they can ask you for what, um, something. That they can come to you. If they need to talk, maybe you'll listen. 
just going that, just making that simple statement goes a long way. Um, let's do a quick recap. One, sorry you're experiencing this. Just that simple. It helps. It lets them know that you heard them and that you care. Two, how can I help? Again, letting the person know you care, you're here, you hear them. Um, three, I'm glad you're taking care of themselves, of yourself. Many people are too busy criticizing to praise them for taking that step. It's a hard step. It's a difficult step to take. I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. Four, how are you coping? Most of the time, people don't ask people how they are. They tell them how they are. They tell them what you, they should do. Take the time and ask them how they're handling this because it's a hard time. And finally, I'm here for you. Letting them know that, hey, you're here. You're there for them. You can help. They can reach out to you. It helps for them to know that. Um, yeah, as always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that there are professionals like myself who are available, able, and willing to help and are even providing remote services who can assist with whatever you may have going on. So please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need them, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.